Hi, my name is Mark, and over the past five years, we've been developing a strategy format which has helped us create a very successful strategy for Voice. It has helped Voice become one of the most successful and fast-growing companies in Europe. In this video series, I would like to explain how the strategy format came to be and how it can help you create a very clear strategy that works for you and your organization. I can't tell you why you need a strategy for your organization, but I can tell you why we needed one. Where our vision gives a very clear direction on where we need to go, our strategy helps us with three things. One, why we need to go there. The second one, how we need to get there. And the third, and maybe the most important one, who we are and how we look at the world. There's a very well-known phrase that says, culture eats strategy for breakfast. There's a lot of merit to that phrase. But I think a culture and strategy combined are even stronger. So our format really focuses on that. How can I bring out the best of the organization and put it into our strategy? That's why this strategy format has a heavy DNA section in it. So culture becomes part of the strategy and vice versa. Our strategy also helps us measure if we're doing the right things right. Once we know these things, it becomes far more easy for everybody in the organization to decide what we need to do in the upcoming years or even in the upcoming months. So strategy basically helps us be clear, calm and confident about the work that we do and the decisions that we make. But strategy is hard and since it is hard, we've created a process for it. This process has been evolving over the past five years and now has been adopted by a large variety of other organizations. In this video series, I'll run through the questions we ask that help us get a clear strategy and I'll try to incorporate the last five years of learnings. You'll see that we have borrowed a lot from what others have already figured out. We'll be borrowing from scaling up and the Rockefeller habits. We'll be borrowing from Holacracy, a system for organizing without managers. We'll borrow from Google's OR system and you'll see that we have incorporated a lot of lean practices. This process can be used by management teams, but it's also very suitable for distributed teams or self-managing organizations. We've called the strategy process the outlook process because it gives us a very clear overview of the future and the horizon we're working towards. It consists of 16 questions you can answer as a team. For small organizations, you can run through this entire series of questions as a single team. And for bigger organization, a core team looks at the long-term components and gives the output of the framework to the rest of the organization. Smaller teams can then use that to look at the shorter term while staying in the bounds of the long-term strategy. The 16 questions fall into six main categories. And the first one is why do we exist? And it's basically put at the center of the organization. The second one is who we are and what do we value as an organization? What are our strengths and what are our weaknesses? But also what are our values and what are our priorities? The third one is where do we want to go? What are the trends we see as an organization? What are our dreams and what is our three year picture gonna look like? What is our goal as an organization and what is the promises we deliver as a brand? The fourth one is what are we going to do to get there? And the fifth one is what are we gonna do in the upcoming episode? Let's say that's the upcoming three to four months. And the final question is how are we going to measure if we're making the right process? And that's basically throughout the entire system. All these components lead to one strategy that works. And if you want to see the entire Outlook format right now and learn more about it, you can find the links underneath in the video description. In the rest of the video series, we'll dive deep into all these elements, the questions we ask and why we ask them. So give me a follow if you would like to learn more about this and we'll see you in the next video.